Hi guys, I'm Mystics, Audio Video Production here at the NAMM Show 2024 at the booth of Mac DSP with Colin to know more about all the philosophy of Mac DSP and to announce maybe some news. Okay, well hey, my name's Colin, we work at Mac DSP. Yes, we've been in business for 25 years. Yikes, I'm still 35. <laughs> what we have at the show today is we have the uh, SA3, that's a spectral processor. It's got over a thousand bands of processing using our Emmy Award winning dialogue processor algorithm, but now it uses the entire spectrum, so it's extra cool. We also have a new APB plugin called BOB, that's BOB stands for Base Optimized Bias. If you think your mix has low end, it doesn't because it doesn't have BOB. Um, <laughs> yeah, McDSP makes plugins for, you know, AX, AU, VST3. We have a whole hardware line called the Analog Processing Box, we make a whole bunch of plugins for that. Our website, mcdsp.com, would tell you even more than I could. And, well, we're happy to be here at the NAM show to meet customers and talk to folks and um, wear cool t-shirts. <laughs> so let's now talk about more the concept of MCDSP. Sure. Oh, this guy. Yeah. So um, the analog processing box. Um, basically, we've been modeling lots of compressors and saturators and multiband dynamic stuff for decades we thought could we take all that software modeling and put it into a programmable analog circuit so you can control it through a plugin this is this is the bob plugin but we have lots of plugins that work inside this box so an apb plugin it works just like any other plugin you put it on a track you use it do your thing but what happens is that the audio is taken from the plugin over thunderbolt and goes into the box it's converted to analog we process the signal in the analog domain convert it back to digital and then bring it back to your DAW. So it works seamlessly, it's easy to use, it's like a bunch of hardware inserts, except it's just over a Thunderbolt cable. Yeah. Um, and we make, you know, Bob is like a low-end enhancement signal saturator. Our, our other signal saturator plugin, the KD-1, was up for a tech award last night. Um, we didn't win, that's okay. And we have lots of you know, EQs, um, compressors, multiband compressors. Um, we even make a whole mixing console called the MUX Mixer. Wow. So, um, how, yeah. many, how many plugins do you have inside? Right now we have, uh, 12, I think 12 plugins. Okay. And, um, and we're, we're always making more. Um, and the APB box is a 16 channel and an eight channel version, but because it's Thunderbolt, you can actually daisy chain up to five of them together. So if you had an APB 16, you had five of those, that'd be 80 channels of analog processing over one Thunderbolt bus, all controlled from your DAW, automatable, make yeah. presets, instant recall. What's not to like? And, and you don't need super expensive computers because all the process is inside in this piece. Yeah, it's all in here. Um, we do use top of the line, you know, AKM converters. We use pretty much, you know, the top of the line, you know, VCAs, knob apps, and everything else. The part that we don't make is there's no controls on here. So we make it yeah. less expensive so we can put in more channels into a box. And it's really cool and I totally biased opinion. Yeah. So basically you can insert normally the plugin inside the, the, the FX chain. Yep. Yeah. Just it's, Without nothing external software. No nope. integrate inside. Yeah, it's just bring up the plugin. We do install a driver, but it handles all the connectivity to okay. the box for you. It's all and, automatic. And it's supported by any kind of DAW? Yep, yeah, we have AX native, AU, VST3, you know, uh, Cubase, Live, Luna, Logic. Um, Studio One. Studio One, Because yes. I'm using Studio One. Okay, <laughs> Studio One, yes, uh, Pro Tools. Yeah, and actually, I'm sorry, uh, new, new for the show also, we have a low latency mode. It's currently only available in Pro Tools, but if you want to actually track with an APB plugin, you can op the APB plugin will operate at any hardware buffer size inside of Pro Tools. So if you want to go to a low latency mode and yeah. then use it and track with the APB plugin, you can do that as well. And the plugins are based on something really famous, or you develop new plugins based on your this, taste? Just based on our concepts. We've, we've modeled a lot of gear, but we kind of like to take those models and sort of make it into our own thing. Okay. So, Great. Yeah. Thank you so much, Colin, for your time. Thank you. Thank you for coming by. Really Thank you very appreciate much. it. Thank you so much. Guys, if you want to know more about Mac DSP, of course, you have the link in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.